what if I told you you don't need a high-end computer to fine-tune your own AI model? Today I will show you how you can fine-tune right on your machine using a really nice framework called Hansla. So let's dive in. First of all, we gonna need our terminal. If you're running on Windows 11, you should already be able to um, start your Linux system. If not, just install it. It's a simple VSL command. You can find it online. Let's make it bigger. The first step we're gonna do is update Linux, of course, and upgrade. And let's go. I already did that. Should be fine. So next up, we need to install the Python environment. For that, just uh, simply type. So let's go with sudo apt install Python 3 event. That's fine. And next, we need to create our own Python environment for Ansla. So let's create our dedicated environment for Unslot in that case. You can name it as you want, but yeah, it's up to you. You can call it Unslot, you can call it uh, whatever, fine tune and hit enter. The next step is activating the environment. So I go with Unslot bin activate and you should see also in brackets your enabled environment as in my case it's unslot now we can install all dependencies into our environment in that case let's we need pip so python 3 i already did that but i can just reinstall it again it's fine now we can use all the pip commands next step is to install the unslot packages you can also find all the informations on the unslot website unslot.ai in the category Windows installation, method three, Windows VSL. So basically we did the same thing. I used also the environment. It's not uh, mentioned in this tutorial. So we are actually right here. We did already this pip install unstart now. Copy that, it's faster. And next up we will use Jupyter Notebook because it's pretty nice to use it over the browser. And I can also um, start the Python notebook on my Windows machine, right? So I'm not fixated. Okay, I installed notebook and the last step would be starting the notebook. And since I am connected as root, I also need to add an additional command here. You should see a similar output. The most important part is not to access the server, but to use the URL. I can simply copy paste that. We are so far done with all the installation and now we go over to Jupyter and start with the actual fine tuning process. Great, good job if you made it until here. So let's take a empty browser and go over to Jupyter. I already have some uh, files here, but I will start fresh so you can also follow. In our case, we will use a small trick here. Unslot already has a lot of nice tutorials for different uh, local LLMs, which we can choose from. So if you go over to their website, it's Unslot AI. As you can see here, um, we have a lot of different possibilities. So I'm going with, in that case, with Gamma 3. So what we're gonna do is we will open their tutorial. They are hosting everything on Google Colab. And what I'm gonna do is I will use the same code, which you can see here right now, but use my own files for training it. So actually, I'm gonna just simply copy everything they have here. And we start here from Unstart, import fast model and also import torch. I will just simply copy that to my bare bone code here. You can also delete everything, but I, I'm just uh, doing that for, for the showcase to have a more clean um, structure here for us. Uh, it's mostly just um, loading the model, downloading the model, setting up the parameters for the model, and then also some parameters for the fine tune layer. There's also a chat template. Each model has a different way of understanding command. And we just have to tell Unstart which template we want to use. In that case, it's Gamma 3. And here we are actually loading a test data from Hugging Face. If you don't know what Hugging Face is, it's basically the Reddit of all open source AIs. And you can find also all the models here and also all the, the data sets. In the tutorial, they are using mlaboon slash fine 100k. But we don't want that. We don't want that. We have to tell the system that we want to use our own data set. And also, I will show you right now how to create the whole data set. That's also pretty important to know. Um, this is my code, by the way. So Let's take this, our next step. What I'm doing here is basically telling uh, own data equal data guys we rechecked. This was the one I was training the last time. And this is the file I also have here in my notebook files, like it's here. It's uh, just a simple Excel file or a CSV file with an input row 
and an output row. You just need to create a lot of questions and answers like or inputs and outputs. Tell the AI how to behave and you need a lot of them. I, in that case I use, let's see, goes down to 3588 single data pairs. And I also used synthetic ones. Like for example, I use other AI tools. So for creating the data set, I'm using a simple Google sheet, right? Let's, let's call this tutorial. First row, pretty important, that's the header. We need to call it input and output. And now we can start creating our inputs and outputs. Like imagine it like a question and answer. Like imagine that you want to um, create a specific kind of behavior in the AI. So um, what I did to create such an amount of question and answers, I also used AI, of course. Let's, for example, um, go over to DeepSeek. Now we can tell DeepSeek, I need a data set with inputs and outputs. Can you create 100 data pairs regarding the topics all about, let's say, tech and AI, right? Just, just for example. So as you can see, it starts creating those inputs and outputs. We can copy paste them. We can also tell it to format it more correctly so that we have less to do later on. But you can use this method. It's called synthetic data creation. Just create over 2000, like around 3000 of them. Like I did, could also be repeating questions, doesn't matter. And the answers could also be similar, it's also not a problem. It's more important to have a consistent character. So if you are done with your data set, you just upload it to your notebook. So let's go back to where we stop. In that case, I will use my existing data set, right? In our case, we will say from data set. So data set equals the load data set brackets. Then we have to tell it what kind of format it is. It's a CSV format, then the data file. That's the path. In that case, our variable, its own data, we define here. And then we also say split it into a train part. So next step would be uh, from unstart chat template, import standardized data formats, data set equals standardized data formats, data set, which is defined here, right? So it will just format it correctly for the gamma. Now we can check the data set which we loaded, right? This is just for check here, data set 100. Then it will um, output uh, the 100 row of the data set. Let's do that too. First we need to run all of those codes. And the hundreds row is, do you believe in aliens? Question mark. Statistically speaking, they are out there. Whether they want to hang out with us is another story. So as you can see, our data set works. Perfect. And now the next move here is to apply the chat template. Yeah, what I did here, uh, since my CSV draining data starts with input and output, I need to define it, which is not the case if you go with the previous data set. You can also stop it here and write down the same code. Like this. I think I should be able to provide the code too. And next they are testing it again. They wanna see if the text output is correct. And next up, we are using SFT trainer. And here we define how complex the fine tune should be, how long it should be, and how many iterations the model should go through the data set. This whole thing could be another tutorial, by the way. Let's go with my settings here. I use 1000 steps to get a better result. And the learning rate to over five for a longer training run. And I also changed pair device train batch size and also the gradient accumulation step. Make it a little bit faster. So the next step is to use uh, unstart train and completion method. And here they check again if the data set was formatted correctly. Let's do that too. It's always good to get a feedback from the system to see if it works. Also here again, again, a little bit more formatting and we're basically done. Next step is setting up some parameters here, GPU, memory, and the last part. And this is the final command to actually train the LLM. Let's start from the top. Let's see if everything works. Like, let's go. So the first code worked. We get a nice response here. We get a feedback from Unstart and also my GPU is here, the 4070 Ti and also how much VRAM I have. And yeah, by the way, um, if you get any problems with that, remember to install CUDA. The next cell, it's about defining the model. So let's run this too. Looks good. And then we import the gamma3 chat template and then we define our data set remember to upload that into your Jupyter notebook from data set import load data set now we will use the package called data sets 
uh, or library uh, to um, load the data set in the proper way. Next up, we will use the unslot chat template. Initializing the chat template. Let's check the data set 90. We did that previously, but let's do it again. We get our, our output. Nice. Looks good. And next one, we will define the chat template to be applied, right? As I before I mentioned it already. So I convert the input and output to the proper way to be able to um, process it correctly. Let's do this too. Did that too, looks really good, all green. And then we get also an example here. In that case, looked for data set zero. That's the first question. It's uh, what's your favorite enemy? And the output, and let's see the text. This is correctly formatted here, perfect. And now the important thing, the setting for the uh, trainer. Remember, you can always change uh, settings here, but I will go with this because it's worked pretty nice in my case. I can even go higher, like more steps, for example, or more in-depth training. But I wouldn't change anything right now. Yeah, it's fine. So let's set the parameters. Tokenizing the text. Now we initialize the chat template. Looks good. 3588 examples. Perfect. That's exactly the amount of files I got here. Let's decode. Let's let's make a test here. Good. I get an output here from the data. Tokenize. Next, check the memory set to see if everything is fine. Okay, looks good. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM actually, but 4.3 is reserved. And now we train the model. We are actually fine tuning the model right now. You can already see how well it performs. So we are done with the training. Next, we can uh, test a fine tuned model. Let's do that. Yeah, we can run the model inside Unslot. Let's just simply copy paste the command. So we should see an output here. We asked about continue the sequence of the Fibonacci numbers and we also, so we got the answer here. So as you can see, we already got our fine tuned model. It's correct. It's working. It's all fine. And next we can also chat with the AI, get with the chat prompt here and we will ask the AI why is the sky blue. Well, let's ask it what is your Fave enemy. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Good shot. I don't care about any enemy to that doesn't dive into existential crisis and giant robots angels. There we have it. Now we have our own fine tuned model with our own custom data set. Great, right? That's amazing, to be honest. That's so amazing. So, next step would be to export the model and use it for different projects, right? We are done right now. It's fine. Or we can also go back and fine tune it again or for example with higher steps because it this took me around uh, 30 minutes yeah just 30 minutes to uh, fine tune the model so that means that's nothing i mean i would be able to go even higher with the, all the settings to get even better results or i would be able to double the size of my data set to get even more even better results so as you can see, it's pretty easy. And I will also show you how to export the model. As you can see, it's also in the tutorials. Pretty much easy. Saving loading fine-tuned models. So let's see. This only saves the LoRa adapters. So LoRa's are also pretty amazing, which would help us to even combine different fine-tuned models. So that's another interesting thing to do. But for now, let's keep it about saving the files let's try with the with the first one okay true so now it's downloading the slot wait so i will skip that and we'll be back so finally the model is down it should be in the home folder there's a fine tune model and there are the saved on the models and let's try to um, save it in a different quantized model. But now you can already use the model and do different um, projects with that. You can download it and change it as you like. If you 
works, I will be back. And I, actually, I can go with F16. True. Okay, true. It worked. So remember, first run the if true model safe pre trained merged code. And after you download the uh, models, you can save it in different uh, versions. You can even go with the quantized model. Q8. I will show you. Let's do it. So we can just rerun that. Use the Q8 and let's try it. This looks good. Let's see the home folder. F16. Download, please. Perfect. That's great. But what I also like to show you is how to convert that model into a lot of framework to make it even simpler. And maybe you know Ulama, it's a really nice wrapper. And there are ways to upload your models into your Ulama framework. You can download the wrapper, it's running in the background. What I want to show you is how to integrate the already previously created model into Ulama. It's pretty nice, but you don't have to. You can always go straight with Python code. Okay, now I switched over to my local environment. To be able to run a, as a Olama model, we also need a model file. It's some Olama specific thing, like here. Let's add that to the files we have here. So I prepared this one already. So it's basically just the path of the model. In that case, it's here. Copy path, let's put that in. And then we have the template with header ID and also the system message. In that case, we call it the wired geist. So here are my files, right? Set my terminal here. Olama create, and then we will say the name tutorial LLM and then path of the model file. And this should create our new LLM. Now it's generating the model. Success, cool. Okay, and now we can check if it's already in the system. Olama list. And there we go, 7.8 gigabytes to Lama LM. And now we can run it. Lama run foot LM. There we go. Now we have our own LLM ready to be integrated in any kind of project. Hi. So yeah, and perfect. Cool, right? And I did the same thing with different models here. I have, for example, different iterations. I even created Geist Loras, but I can show that in another tutorial if you'd like to. Just let me know. If you found this helpful, drop a like and maybe subscribe would be amazing. And if you want more content, of course, and feel free to drop any kind of comments or questions in the comments. I read them all.